Let us stop for a minute and consider what we mean by calling Carnatic music or Hindustani music classical. That is how we refer to Carnatic music. We say that it is the classical music of South India. Now, the expression classical music primarily applies to Western orchestral music that was composed in the um, 17th and 18th century, specifically the music of Beethoven, Mozart, Haydn and others. And this music came to be called classical music only sometime in the 19th century. And we speak of Western classical music uh, as the music that has evolved in the West from say 1000 AD to the current times. Well, that is Western classical music, but when we speak of Western classical music with a capital C, we mean the music that was composed in the period of the 18th century specifically. Now, it, this expression came to be applied to certain forms of music and dance in India for various reasons. Now, if we try to understand what we mean when we say that say Carnatic music is classical, one of the things is certainly that it has some antiquity, that it has been around for quite some time, for many, many centuries, maybe many, at least many decades. And certainly it is true in the case of Carnatic music, it has been around for many, for at least four centuries. Um, and secondly, we mean not only that it is valuable because it is old, but also because it has value, it has intrinsic value. We, we call Sanskrit for instance a classical language because it is a very ancient language, but also because it has great literature in it, it has what it has it is very very significant texts and all kinds of works written in this language, which is why we call it classical. Again we have classical forms of dance, Bharatanatyam, Mohiniyattam and so on. But our own word for music, Carnatic music is Shastriya Sangeetam. In fact, we just refer to it as Carnatic music. There is no uh, word in our languages for classical. When we also mean, when, when we call something classical, classical dance, Bharatanatyam or Carnatic music, we also mean that it has a certain grammar, well defined grammar and a certain level of training is needed to be able to perform it. And very importantly, we also mean that there is a textual tradition, a tradition of writing about this music or dance. Now, all this is true in the case of Carnatic music. In the case of, uh, in fact, in the case of Carnatic music, the tradition of Lakshana Granthas, which is also something we will talk about later, it is an ancient tradition. It has it goes back many centuries where texts describe and discuss this music. Now, interestingly, Carnatic and Hindustani music came to be called classical only in the 20th century. In fact, there is this book. Uh, by Raja Saurindra Mohan Tagore, which was published sometime in the late 19th century and it is titled Hindu music, but nowhere is there any reference to the expression classical music. The book talks about Khayal, Tumri and so on, but there is no uh, use of the word classical music. Even the much later 20th century work by P. Shambhamurthy, which is just a very definitive work on South Indian music and in fact that whole series is titled South Indian music. There is no talk of classical music, he just speaks of South Indian music. Now we will see in fact that the, the defining of Carnatic and Hindustani music as classical music of India was a part of the, the, the attempt on the part of 
uh, Indians to seek and forge and celebrate their cultural uh, richness in the context of the uh, struggle for freedom. It is true that most musicologists beginning with as we saw Dr. Ashok Ranade himself prefer to use the term art music rather than classical music when we speak of Carnatic or Hindustani music. But in, in my opinion it is quite harmless to use the word expression classical music because it is quite clear what we mean when we say classical music of India. In terms of what it refers to it is quite clear. <coughs> 